y'all jumping right into it these are the ingredients two ingredients only hershey's sugar-free chocolate chips and the emerald um almond walnuts now you don't have to use these ingredients you can choose your own it's only two this is a sugar-free option feel free to use it so we have a pot and you're gonna need a bowl two cups of water and bring it to a boil this is your double boiler that's how we're gonna do it um, you're gonna take the two ingredients first you're gonna take your sugar-free chocolate chips one cup and you're gonna put it in your bowl your double boiler and you're gonna melt the chocolate um, then we'll mix the nuts after so here goes your one cup it wouldn't focus my bad y'all and so we're just gonna go ahead and stir the chocolate chips you want to make sure that your um, heat is on like medium I found out that worked best for me okay so we're gonna go ahead and stir you see it's melting you want to make sure that it's not clumpy so that's pretty much the consistency consistency that you want you want it to be smooth not clumpy so that way when you add the nuts they combine well and then you're gonna go ahead and put them on your parchment paper so yeah this is just me mixing it I know it's kind of worrying y'all I'm sorry I'm getting better with my editing and thank you thank you once again for tuning in I missed y'all I'm gonna do better I'm gonna do better I promise I made a promise to myself so anyway once again just keep stirring 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 once you get the smooth consistency now it's time to add your nuts okay and so I added one cup so if you're gonna do or use the same ingredients as I am that's gonna be three bags okay I apologize I didn't add wording or text to this video yeah not today so <laughs> but i mean it's two ingredients y'all got it and the ingredients will be listed in the description box okay just in case so you're just gonna go ahead and mix your nuts in pretty much fold it in that's what you're doing and now we're gonna go ahead and transfer it to the parchment paper and your baking sheet and if you're looking at um, the parchment paper it is wet um, i learned a trick is to wet your baking sheet and then add the parchment paper it makes it easier so it doesn't move around so anyways I got overzealous and I made a really big cluster you don't have to make big clusters it's up to you you do what you want okay you're creating or you're the person making this so it's to your liking now I started off big but then I started to get smaller because I realized that I made them too big and in all actuality when they were done and I was eating them the larger ones were just a little harder for me so I felt like bite size is good enough and also it's a lot of even though it's sugar free it's still sweet okay because they use sugar alcohol for these sugar free um products so it's still sweet it tastes the same that's why you don't need any other ingredients now I didn't add salt as well these are unsalted nuts I did that because I like to control my salt intake and I'm not really, I like sweet and salt, um, and like savory or salty, that's not a problem. But in this case, I just didn't wanna. Now you can feel free to either add, um, get salted nuts or you can add just like sea salt or kosher salt, well no sea salt I would say, sea salt on the top of them. So that way when they dry, you know, when, they, when they're freezing, sorry, when you're freezing them then it'll be on the top that's an option for you but for me I just decided not to do that and I mean it works out good for me but like I said if you want um, salty and sweet then get the salty nuts we're just working on you know no sugar no salt it's really a keto um, you know version however it does have high carbs and so I'm just gonna say sugar free it is keto and it depends on the ingredients you use like I said the um, chocolate chips that I use are the sugar free version but 
um, most people use lilies for keto and I'm allergic to the sunflower oil and the sunflower lectin. Um, so I had to use an alternative. So that's the Hershey's chocolate chips, but feel free to use lilies. Most people in the keto community do most people who are on sugar-free diets, they you and want to make sweets and use the chocolate chips. They use the lilies version or brand, should I say? And that's not a problem. Like I said, interchange the ingredients if you want to. Shoot, you can get fancy and add a little drizzle on top, chocolate or caramel. Do your thing. So anyways, we're going to put them in the freezer. Time in the freezer is about 10 to 15 minutes. I put them in for 10 minutes. Took them, I was going to take them out, but the chocolate came off on my fingers. So I suggest doing 15 minutes, okay? And then after 15 minutes, I mean... For me, I'm going to eat them. Let's not play, okay? So anyways, <laughs> after 15 minutes, you can plate them. You can bag them up. I mean, you can serve them to whomever um, you're making them for. I mean, this is a good gift as well. I did realize that tomorrow is actually Valentine's Day. So hey, if you want to make some candy for you and your boo, go ahead and do so. You know, you and your man, whoever shoot your mama anybody you can go ahead and make this candy and so that's the finished product you know i appreciate you guys tuning in thank you so much for your support like i said i will be making more videos and um also just be on the lookout for decor and even hair tutorials thank you like share subscribe and comment below peace and love